for me on a you know subject of religion, you know, I was like on the table or on the fence about making a video like this because it may offend some people, but this video is not intended to offend. It's intended to tell the truth. This video about is about black Americans who choose to keep the doctrines of the people who enslaved them. And what do I mean? Christian coons that will not accept the truth that the real Jews are black. In the Bible, like I said in, in a previous video, it says that Jesus' hair was like wool and his feet was dark to bronze. All right. You know what I'm saying? Deuteronomy 28, you know, states all the curses that was going to go on because of our disobedience to God and breaking the covenant with God. Deuteronomy 28 from 14 to, I think, 30 documents everything that's happening to black people in America because of our disobedience to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, read it. And you'll be surprised that, wait a minute, the real Jews are black. See, I have a problem with cr black Christians. Black Christians want to keep the traditions of their white slave master. They don't want to break free from their branded Christianity. See, they named the Messianic beliefs Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Because... The early so-called Christians did not call themselves Christians. They called themselves Messianics, followers of the Messiah. You know, you know, black Christians, they so quick. They go to church on Sunday and you're not supposed to go to church on Sunday because the Sabbath is on Saturday. They so quick to ask for money. But in the Bible, our offering is not money. It's animals and vegetables to pay tribute to the Most High. So you ain't supposed to do that. You ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas or Easter. But all these black churches, they still do it. Jesus Christ was not born on Christmas. Jesus Christ did not die on Easter. Both are pagan holidays. One is um, Christmas of Santanaria. And East is Babylonian. You know, it's basically paying paying um homage to the goddess Ishtar. You know what I'm saying? The queen of heaven, which is actually the devil's wife. That's right. Ishtar is the devil's wife. Look it up. It's Babylonian. You know, the eggs and a rabbit represent fertility. So, or fertility, excuse me. It was just a fertility or a Roman fertility holiday. You know what I'm saying? Christmas, you could basically, you know, murder, have gay sex party and all that other crap. It's just crazy. Actually, every holiday that the black Christian church celebrates is pagan. So basically, we taking on the doctrine of devils. And then not even that. You got these black churches that's up here taking a 501c3. You know what I'm saying? You know, so they could promote the agenda of, you know, the government, which is get out the vote, abortion. You know, homosexuality is okay. Pedophilia is okay. I, I don't know if there's a black church that promoted pedophilia yet. But I guess there will be in the future. The black church, the black Christian church is all screwed up. Because they'll never embrace the truth that the real Jews are black. And uh, North American Jews and are, well, the North American blacks, excuse me, are the real Jews. Because we fit all the curses. The blacks in the Caribbean are the real Jews. The Blacks in Central American, uh, America of Hispanic descent are the real Jews. We are the real Jews, but they will never admit that. You know, they want to keep us blind.
You know what I'm saying? Religion just means to keep down, keep people under control. Spirituality means you have a relationship with the creator. And the thing is, I know I'm not the best, you know, believer, but I do believe in what I I have just mentioned to you. I have a lot of work, but that's why, you know, I got to deal with Yahweh. That's why I got to deal with Yeshua, because even if I keep all the commandments, I'm still in a land that's unpure and sinful. So that makes me unpure and sinful. If I'm around unpure people, then I become unpure and sinful. So Jesus is, or Yeshua, excuse me, is the Redeemer. That's all he is. He's the Redeemer. He's the go-between because here, we could never really keep the covenant. We could try, but it's so many commandments. We cannot keep them. But basically what I'm saying, yo, I hate to say this because I was brought up in this background. A lot of blacks need to lead that Christian church. And so it's reformed to the true messianic beliefs. You're supposed to celebrate the Sabbath and you're supposed to celebrate the Passover, not Easter. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to, it's more than 10 commandments. It's more. It's actually 613 statutes and commandments. You know what I'm saying? We got to, you know, just basically get away from these doctrines of devils. The stuff that's kept us oppressed and kept us down for 397 years. That's right. We've been in this country 397 years. Well, actually not. I think 398. Because we came here 1619. You know, but... um. The Bible says we is going to be held in a country for 400 years that is not our own. Well, actually, we is going to be under the curses. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't go back to the motherland. And it ain't Africa. You know what I'm saying? The Middle East, because the real Jews are black until, you know, he comes back and he sets things right. You know, a lot of people want to talk about it's the end of the world, but the world won't end until the global earthquake happens and Islam becomes the dominant religion. But basically what I'm saying, these niggas in these black churches, they out of whack. They out of whack. They following that slave master Christianity. Jesus Christ never existed. His name is Yeshua. His father is Yahweh. Stop calling them God. Stop calling them Jehovah. Stop calling them Jesus. Because that's not their names. And that's utterly disrespectful to the creator. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even Christianity. It's the real authentic messianic Judaism that was stolen away from us. The oppressed peoples that's been held to this day. And this wilderness, this prison called America, ka, ka. People, it's time to wake up. The real Jews are black. America's finished. This is your man, Militant. Man, this is the longest video I did. But the real Jews are black. I'm not going to go into no Bible scriptures, but I, I will suggest a good site that will tell you where you could discern the Bible scriptures. And they'll tell you in plain English. Bible Hub. It'll tell you any scripture in plain English. Just Google Bible Hub. I use it. But this is your man, Militant. The 50C3 Black Church got to go. These Christian coons, they got to go. This is your man. Out.